hello what's up and welcome to this channel in this video guys i'm going to show you my dolphin emu emulator settings for the game pokemon xd gale of darkness all right with this all said guys i'm going to get going to go to my desktop and i'm going to see you there all right guys as we are on my desktop right now the first thing i'm going to show you and what is actually really important that might be do do cause the issues for you is actually the version of the emulator now you might ask what are you talking about now, okay stay with me it's gonna be a little bit lengthy than usual, but it's gonna be worth it, worth it in the end. Now, when it goes to Dolphin Emulator, guys, there are two options here. You got releases and you got development versions. So the release version, don't go for development one. This could cause the problem for you. This is one thing. All right, this out of the way, guys, you probably installed it, you set up your control and whatnot, because it's not a full setup guide here. We're just gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you my settings, what I worked with the whole week and it works fine i played almost game is almost done anyways uh long story short guys we're going for the dolphin emulator it's down here it's gonna pop up we're gonna make it big uh, it's thing gonna record here it is there's pokemon like pokemon battle revolution i have on i uh, pokemon xd of darkness it's not really important first we go to con first we go to configuration guys let's put it right right here in the middle so just copy the settings guys and you're good to go anyways a general guys enable dual core speed up uh, disable cheats allow mismatch region settings off change disk automatically off show current game on discord it's up to you guys speed limit 100 normal don't go crazy on it auto update release every few months how it should supposed to be um Fallback region poll and enable uses statistic reporting enabled. Interface guys, it's I don't think it has anything to do with it, but um, just go, do the same things. It's uh, it's up to you. Interface or not audio guys, uh, DS, D, DSPL recommended and other things I really don't. Uh, cubic audio backend and uh, go for like it's I don't know what this is. I never use it and uh, buffer size keep it as it is they have uh, audio stretching for some games it might be necessary but it's nothing uh, really important i put 35 because for the recording of the video it's up to you how much room you had pads nothing too important that's where you put the games in gamecube here guys i don't think either you need to do any changes keep it as it is wii u nothing either keep it as it is as well because we don't work with the Wii U right now and doesn't really matter. Here's the most actually important, some important things here. Uh, Jitter compiler for uh, uh, 86 and 64 recommended, keep that. Disable, enable MMU, disable this one and this one as well. Enable emulated CPU clock rate, well, uh, just keep this in, disabled as well, guys. Uh, disable emulated memory size overwrite, the same thing here and Enables custom CRTs. We don't need that either. And you're to go. This was for the configuration, guys. Close it. If you're done with all those, if you did everything I did, then we go back to options and we go to graphics. I think the most thing that people got uh, problems with, uh, problem here, those settings. I do recommend you guys to go for backend Vulkan adapter. Choose your graphic card. The, it depends on what graphic card you have. Mine is the NVIDIA GeForce ITX 2070 Super. It's nothing too high end, nothing too fancy. Expect ratio 4, 16 by 9. And click on VSync, enable that and start in full screen. That's when you play like in high resolution. It doesn't, uh, yeah, you know, doesn't cut the, the, the dinghy. Uh, render to main window, no, disable that. Short net play, disable. Auto adjust window size, disable. And show net play ping, disable as well. It depends on if you use it or not. Specialize default guys, exclusive over shaders. Don't need that, don't need that, and don't need that. We need disable this as well. Enhancements. Now here was the magic goes. Here where you can like make the game really pop, and make it beautiful. Now it depends on your graphic card guys. Uh, I can run with my 2070 Super and my Ryzen 7 27X processor, guys. I run a 6 native, so 4K. Anti-analyzing, 2, more than enough, I think. Texture filtering, 2, anti-stepetic. Uh, output re resembling, bilinear, guy, bi bilinear. Color correction, configure, I never played with that. Now here comes the magic, guys, post-processing, auto HDR. If your screen has HDR, if it doesn't have HDR, don't do it. And uh, 
just off i have hdr on my 4k tv behind me and on my screen here um and if you have hr guys uh, yeah, ex uh one more thing guys enables called if if efb copy disable widescreen hack if you do widescreen hack guys some ga some games gonna crash so i do highly recommend to disable that even at school school disable fog and uh, enable disable copy filter Enable HDR post-processing, but only if you have SGR support on your screens. Uh, disable airporting, minimap detection, enable 464 bit color, and disable pixel per lightning. Third type of 3D mode, we don't need that. Depth and those, keep those as they are. Hacks, guys, here as well, really important settings. Disable, enable, 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 guys. Here, keep that at fast. Uh, GPU texture decoding, we don't need that. Store XFB enabled, disable this, enable this, enable this, disable those, and enable those too. One and not least, um, I do always, I, it's up to you, it's preference. Uh, I do always uh, like to see how much FPS I get. It's something up here, even when we was little kids, we never actually cared about that. Um, just a reminder here show vps don't need that all that stuff guys just copy those kind of settings here and i gonna think i think you are good to go that's what this was it pretty much it for the settings controller co controller setting guys let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on it hotkey settings and free look settings i never play with those and uh, with this out of the way guys we can actually start the game now give me a second i'm just gonna grab my controller and we can start the game okay i started wrong game guys <laughs> all right as we start the game guys i was i was like what the hell is going on take this away here we press and start and once again i using the xbox one controller wirelessly connected and the game let, let enjoy the nostalgia here guys it's good it's good and it supports hdr as well there we go xd gears darkness almost full screen Press and start, it works just like a charm. Memory card, pin check. Continue. It's me, her, her hero's name, MU. Playtime 21 minutes, 54 uh, seconds. Shadow Pokemon 50, Perfect Pokemon 8. Even I played a lot more than that, but I know how it counts like this much. Oh, Mirror Raider lost their signal, it doesn't matter. We're here at the Pokemon Center, guys. You might think now, oh god, he's, he doesn't even play it a lot. Right, and let me show you something real quick here to confirm that I'm actually playing it a lot. As you might see, guys, it's literally end game here. Just you can see the Kyogre um, thingy. Um, is it the Kyogre? I don't even know what this thing is. Anyway, uh, <laughs> been a long time. I've been playing Pokemon. As you might can see, guys, here I've been really everywhere in the game. I've been in Metal Battle. I've been in Pokemon Q Lab and Komnikos House, Gateport, Oasis Pokesport. You know where you can fight, bat, catch white Pokemon, Pirate, uh, Wrigglegram Tower, Super Lab, SS Library, Phoenix City, Outskrist. Rock, Pog Spot, and so on, and even MT Battle. I've been like everywhere in the game. Now let's go back. Actually, as Mike can say, it's run smooth. Let's make sure you run out again, guys, for for, for a reason. And uh, gate port here, where people get old kind of issues, especially when they encounter the first time this kind of old man and whatnot. And let me show you where I am already in the game nothing too important i only played because uh, i wanted to help you guys this guy how does this how does this guy even jump in okay i need to it's not like automatically you need to really press the button as you might see smooth animation we have 60 f 30 fps um is it 60? Okay. this game runs natively at 30 fps gamecube as you might see we're literally the end game here that's the lava thingy and I'm already inside, I was inside here already. And I did a rot, I just uh, got out. As you may see. And those are my Pokemon, as I said, I used custom ones. Uh, summary. I have the Fero, Jolly Nature, nature Jolly Nature. Level 22, Panic City, Met. We have the... Um, yeah, anyway, we got... <laughs> 
I got the brain freeze for a second. Um, we got the Blastoise here, guys, level 44. Modest nature, level 11. I, I met him and the Chuk left. Timid nature, the Espeon guys, uh, they all got perfect natures for, the, for what they are. I played back in the end, competitive. We have the Venusu here, and as you might see, it's shiny as well. And my Charizard is shiny as well. Um, those are the attacks. Flame through Hydro Pump, Calm Mind, and Aeroblast. <laughs> uh, Sludge Pump, Toxic, Leech, Giga Drain, uh, Standard <laughs> Blastoise. Psychic, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball. It's uh, really a sh goddamn shame. Morning Sun, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Extreme Speed, and Ancient Power. Poison Fan, Crunch, Double Edge, and Psycho Up. And we got Double Edge, Drill Pick, Belly Drum, Steel Wing. Now keep one thing in mind guys, I actually do those in double battles because it's double battle here. So what I do is literally belly drum with uh, belly drum with uh, Firo and then I like uh, psych up with uh, my Tiana and I sweep all the game. That's how I did it. So I could actually come to this progress that I, oops, I did. Uh, just <laughs> just to, to show you literally um, what I was doing guys. Everything works just fine, nothing too crazy. Um, once again, those are the settings I, I gave you and I played the whole game almost done and nothing literally happened. I can go actually to another place uh, where actually the game as well crashes if I'm not wrong. But uh, I think yes, this is pretty much pretty much it. I'm not gonna rumble uh, further than that, guys. That's what I want to show you guys. Uh, so I see because the more you process to the game, the more like those places you can travel to. So this only goes to show that those settings working for me. Hopefully they work for you as well and with the tips I give you. And if not, we might I can see what I can do. Leave a comment in the comment section below. If it helps you, like the video, subscribe to this channel, guys, because where this video comes from. There's a lot more to come. And with that all said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, Ember Else. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. Hey, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.